Good afternoon. First, I'd like to thank Mayor Davis for giving me the opportunity to come and speak to you today with our COVID-19 update. My name is Suzanne Cavanaugh, and I'm a nurse with the Bayonne Health Department. Since March of 2020, we have been through some major life changes. COVID-19 has impacted us all in so many ways. The resilience and pure compassion we have seen throughout this year and a half in Bayonne has been nothing short of incredible. As the bar keeps rising, Bayonne consistently keeps meeting every challenge together. Some of us have been blessed enough to not have been directly affected by COVID-19, but some of us were not that fortunate. In Bayonne, it saddens me deeply to say we have lost 130 residents, 130 mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, neighbors, and dear friends. These are not just numbers to us in City Hall. We take it personally. It is a harrowing experience having a family member in the hospital infected with COVID-19, not being able to be with our sick loved ones, waiting for any bit of information from the hardworking staff at the medical center, which sometimes could take a very long time because they are so busy caring for other COVID patients. Make no mistakes, you do not want this experience and you should do everything possible to protect yourselves and your loved ones. We would like to extend our sincere condolences to all who have had to bear the heartbreak of losing your loved one to this insidious virus. As the varying strains of COVID-19 continue to make their way through our population here in Bayonne and across our country, we want to make it very clear the best thing that you can do to protect yourselves and the people you love and your community is to get vaccinated. That's a fact. Being vaccinated is your best defense against serious illness or even death related to COVID-19 especially this Delta variant. Every hospital across our country is reporting their COVID admissions are of predominantly unvaccinated people. As we head into the colder months of cold and flu season, we expect, just as it happened last year, we will have an uptick in COVID cases. In fact, it has already started earlier than we anticipated. The difference from last year to now is that we were shut down then. Most people were working from home, businesses were closed, and the world stood still. Now we are back to work, back to school, and back to being more social. That is a recipe for replication and more infection if we don't follow the proper protocols and so many more positive cases. So now is the time to apply all that we have learned. Wear your masks socially distance, avoid crowds, and wash your hands. At this time last year, we were praying for a vaccine. In January and February, we were only receiving 300 vaccines a week. Now we have multiple partners distributing thousands of vaccines here in Bayonne. Our biggest partner is you, the community. 80% of our adult population have already received at least one dose. Our 12 year old and up population is increasingly receiving their vaccines. And we have already started to give the additional doses to the immunocompromised population. If you are immunocompromised, taking immunosuppressants or have been advised by your doctor to receive the additional dose, you can do so at the Corpy Ice Rink at Bayonne High School. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We are presently awaiting CDC guidance on when we can start the booster dose for our healthier population. And when we get that information, as soon as our local health department receives those directives, we will notify you. Since we have seen a recent rise in the COVID positives in town and testing has been increasingly more difficult, Mayor Davis has directed our health department and the Office of Emergency Management to once again provide our residents with COVID testing. Beginning today, we will conduct COVID testing at the Bayonne Museum on the corner of Broadway and 8th Street. 
The present hours of operation are Thursday from 1 to 7 and Sunday from 9 to 3. We will be offering both PCR nasopharyngeal swabs and saliva tests and the rapid antigen testing. For more information, visit our website at BayonneNJ.org. We in the Bayonne Health Department have been working nonstop for 18 months. Since the beginning of this health emergency, our main focus has been the health and well-being both physically and mentally, of each and every one of you in this great city. We have taken great strides to care for our municipal workforce 24-7, including the police and fire departments, so our municipal government could remain fully operational through this pandemic. I've been a nurse for a long time, and I've had the honor of working with some very dedicated and talented individuals, but I have never seen the selflessness professionalism, and devotion as I have seen over the last year and a half right here in City Hall. Every single department has been on task like clockwork, and I can assure you that we will never let go of our mission to protect you, our residents, our Bayonne family. So remember, get vaccinated, wear your masks, socially distance, wash your hands often, and take care of each other. Our community needs to stay united in our efforts to get through this, not divided, not distracted from our goals towards achieving the best possible outcome. We have a job to do. The city of Bayonne and its employees are dedicated and committed to doing just that. Once again, I'd like to thank Mayor Davis for his full support leadership, and it's been a great honor to be able to update you today on our COVID-19 response. I'd like to thank you, the great people of this city, for continued cooperation throughout this pandemic. I am so proud to say that I am from Bayonne. Be safe, be well, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.